Well, the prayer emails are piling up again, and uh, can we talk about Uza? What about him? You know, the guy who touched the Ark of the Covenant and died? I did say no touchy. He was steadying it from falling. I said no touchy. I don't get you sometimes. Yeah, most people don't. Hey, God. What up, Steve? I see you found your hat. Yeah, it fell to the back of the closet. Got something else cute and fluffy for me today? <laughs> You're really gonna love this one. The dragon! Whoa! No, no. Steve? What? Stacy told me to make something extra special to cheer you up. Thank <clears throat> you, Stacy, for your contribution. I can't approve this one, buddy. Why? I, I let you get away with a lot, but this one will definitely cause a panic. Oh. But I'll inspire humans to write about it so they can enjoy it in a fictional sense. Okay. What about a modified design? Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, first, lose the wings. Done! And... Whoa! Sorry, he got excited. Yeah, no, no fire breathing. Aww. What about venom? I'll allow it. Yes! And make it smaller. 30 feet long? Even smaller. 20 feet? Steve. 9 feet. Okay, but that's the max. Okay. So what's it looking like now with all the changes? With all the changes, this is what it looks like now. Still quite fearsome. Are you sure about the wings? Yes. Okay. But I'd really like to add some osteoderms for protection to his skin. Okay. Thanks, God. Stacy? Yes, God. So, this little dragon thingy is still very overpowered, so I'd like you to add a few things before it goes down to Earth. What do you have in mind? Dulled hearing and sight senses. Okay. And to balance out the apex predator personality, I'd like you to make another dragon, but significantly smaller with no snarky attitude and a beard. Why a beard? I think it's cute. Okay. So you want me to place limiters on this dragon, then create a bearded dragon. Anything else? Answer a few of those prayers for me.